Hello, my name is Ben and on this YouTube channel, I document my own print on demand journey. In today's video, I want to talk about websites that allow or don't allow automation. So if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about automation tools that allow you to automatically upload designs to print on demand websites. The advantage here is clearly that if you, for example, manage to create a lot of designs or you have a lot of designs already, or you have text based designs and you just have a lot of designs and you don't want to spend time to upload them or because that's quite a boring and um, yeah dull job, you know, that wastes a, lot, wastes a lot of time in my opinion, then people tend to use sometimes upload automation. That's one reason why I use upload automation. The second reason to use upload automation is that you can scale your business faster because you can upload to more print on demand websites and you don't spend any time uploading. You can go away from your laptop if you have set it up properly and it works. Yeah, it works for me, it has worked for me, and I'm very honest with you, if I didn't have automation, I wouldn't be in print on demand. For that, it's purely not profitable enough, at least not in the area where I live. I live in the UK, it's quite an expensive area of the world, and the royalties that you get from print on demand websites, yes, they are okay, but they are not brilliant. They don't make you necessarily rich or financially free on their own, unless you are really in a high tier on Amazon, um, or really are already for you know in the business for years and years so it's you know I always say print on demand is a marathon there is a lot of competition it's not a sprint you need to have patience it takes a while to grow that business and it can really be worth it that's why I do it it is worth it in my opinion but only if you run or if you follow a pretty much passive approach that's at least what I'm doing that's why I use automation and I had a few questions in the comments of a few videos where the question was, you know, do actually print on demand websites allow for automation or do you actually risk that your account gets banned? Now, in this video, I just want to share my experience. This is not guaranteed. So if I tell you that my opinion, a print on demand website is uh, upload automation friendly and then you still get your account banned, please don't um, make me responsible for that. I can only share here my own experience and I can't guarantee anything. So first website, Shirty. Shirty is a website that actually doesn't really have a great algorithm built in, um, and, but you can get sales there also organically without marketing. However, on a website like Shirty, it's best to run ads on social media, for example, but still I've managed to get sales there without any advertisement. So just organically. And I did that by uploading designs with um, Flying Upload. And in my opinion, from what I've heard and what I know, Shirty is quite um, Shirty is quite upload automation friendly. They don't really have a daily upload limit. Um, they review your designs, yes, but they are actually quite um, designer friendly. It's actually, to be honest, in my opinion, one of the most designer friendly websites. I've never heard that someone had his or her account banned on Shirty. I know a lot of people use automation. Shirty is a German company. I know the guys from Flying Upload contacted Shirty and Shirty didn't mind. They were actually quite happy for someone to use automation software. So they also don't have like a robot blocker or anything on the website. So you're actually okay to use automation in my opinion on Shirty. Let's take a look at Redbubble. I think Redbubble, they're actually not too happy for people to use automation. They don't want to give people an advantage over others. They recommend that people use the upload, um, well, the upload software or the upload application of the Redbubble website. But I haven't heard of anyone who had their account banned by automation. I've heard, you know, people had their accounts banned, but for various reasons, new starters, whatever, but not because of automation. I've been uploading now for to Redbubble um, for nine months. They don't have a robot blocker only when logging in. So they have a high upload limit of 60 uploads per day. And in my opinion, you're okay to use an upload automation software with Redbubble. Amazon, I have used upload automation for Amazon Merge, but they do say that they don't want it. Um, they have it in the terms. So you risk that your account gets banned. I still use it um, for, for Amazon from time to time, not always. And especially with Flying Upload, I actually don't have a bad feeling about it because the way Flying Upload is set up is that you have a separate software on your laptop. So it is as if you were uploading from your laptop, you can adjust the speed on that software as well. So you can make it slower to pretend that you are a human and it has worked quite well for me. And I haven't heard of anyone 
who had their account banned on Amazon Merge because um, of upload automation. Society6, they also say they don't like it, they don't want it. Uh, they actually forbid people to use it. But to be honest, the upload process is so painful. I am using upload automation. Society6 also don't have an upload limit per day. And I've been uploading 24 hours for days to Society6 and I still have my account. And to be honest, I wouldn't be on Society6 if I couldn't use upload automation. So it's at my own risk. I know that they don't want it. They don't like it. I still do it. Uh, I know a lot of other people are doing it as well. It's just what it is. Zazzle, I think they also don't like it. They don't want it. I think they've got a statement on their website that they don't want people to use upload automation. Again, I do it because the upload process is a bit painful. They also don't technically have a daily upload limit. However, you can't upload more than 100,000 products in my, uh, as far as I know, per shop or per, no, per account. Um, and that is quite a lot. It, it takes a while to get there. Um, but Zazzle, if you use automation, you can get an advantage, certainly. And to be honest, I don't see why you shouldn't use it because in these days where automation is everything, there is no reason why you should spend your valuable time on a day uploading manually to these websites and then potentially, you know, wait months until you get a sale. Our time is far too valuable for that. Fine Art America, um, also, they don't have a daily upload limit. I think they don't like it if you use automation upload software, but again, they don't um, have anything there to stop automation. So they don't have a, a robot blocker or anything. Whereas Zazzle, for example, they use a capture service to stop robots, but there's ways around it with flying upload as well. Um, Fine Art America don't have anything like that. I haven't got any bad experience with using automation on Fine Art America. Threatless, they actually banned my account, but on Threadless, you can't actually make any sales without really making any ad or running any ads because they don't really allow you on the marketplace unless you already have a lot of sales uh, or followers. So yeah, it was worthless anyway to upload to Threadless. They actually ban your account if you use automation software. And I heard of a few other people who had their accounts banned because of that. Etsy, I think they don't mind. You normally go through a third party um, software anyway so for example you go through printful for example a third party provider to upload your products to etsy and for example flying upload they support uploading to printful printful don't mind as far as i know that you use automation software to upload to printful and then push the products to etsy and lastly tostadora i think they don't mind as well haven't found anything in their terms uh, they also don't have a robot blocker or anything on their website and it works pretty well to upload automatically to Tostadora with flying upload. So I hope that video was useful. If you think about using upload automation, the only website that really um, I know actively does something against upload automation is Threadless. They have banned my account. They've banned other accounts um, because of using automation software, but I've never had a sale on Threadless anyway, so I didn't mind. And I know there is a risk of using upload automation, but again, if I couldn't use upload automation, I wouldn't be in the business because if I had to spend hours to upload to print-on-demand websites, I would do something different. Um, I can't afford that time. There are, you know, there are other more profitable ways of making money that take more time. So my idea, my passive income idea with print-on-demand is really to automate this process as much as possible. Um, and then, uh, you know, spend that time in a, in a more valuable way, because why would I, I'd rather spend time designing, creating value, because uploading doesn't create any value. Whereas designing creates value. You create designs that people actually want, that people buy, that uh, people like. So that is value. Uploading is not value at all. I don't see why I would waste my time doing that. Um, let me know what your view is, but I don't see any reason why I would upload manually. Yes, people sometimes make the case that you can adjust the products. Yes, that's fine. But my argument is, the little adjustments that you do, do they really provide you with such an advantage? I would doubt it. Um, all right, anyway, so hopefully that video was useful. If you liked it, please smash the like button. And if you want to follow me on my print on demand journey, then please subscribe. Thanks a lot for watching and see you in the next video. Bye bye.